What's up friends, today we are here to talk about the X-Way Flex 2 Pro. And I'm super excited for this one because it adds some pretty sweet lighting effects and a bunch of minor upgrades that will make your life on this board a lot better and a lot cooler. So stay tuned to see my first impressions and my very first ride. Alrighty, so goals for today's video. I'm gonna have this short studio session where we go over kind of the, the basic upgrades of what's different from Flex Pro to Flex 2 Pro. And then uh, we'll, once you finish covering those, I'll take it out on a ride and I'll tell you guys what I think of the riding experience. Personally, I think it's going to be much the same, but uh, we've got a lot of new little things to cover. So I'm just gonna go through one thing at a time and we'll talk about them. First off, this remote. This is the X-Way Rexus remote, which comes stock with the Flex 2 Pro and the Paragon, and this thing is incredible. Honestly, this is pretty much everything I could possibly ask for in a remote upgrade from X-Way. Um, I actually have one of their old remotes here. Well, I have a lot of them, but here's the old remote. Old remote and the Rexus. Now we do have quite a size increase here. I don't know if this is gonna focus on it. There we go. Kinda of hard to see, but I'll put B-roll anyway. We have a size increase here, but a major functionality increase. And honestly, this thing is super comfortable as well. We're gonna talk about this a lot more in the full review, but I love everything about this remote. We'll see how the battery life is. Um, obviously it has a screen on it now. It does turn off after a couple seconds of having your hands like down uh, and then it'll turn back on when it, you uh, like pick it up to use it or to look at it. Uh, we've got touchscreen functionality on here to access some settings. We've got a bunch of different light modes. You can change the, uh, the way they respond and uh, like what patterns they are and all kinds of stuff like that. It's also got turn signals in here that are activated by tilting the remote one way or the other. They look much better when it's not like laying on its side, but you get the point. You can turn the lights off altogether. And just in general, it just feels really comfortable. So I'm super excited about this remote major upgrade. Um, and the nice thing is you can use this remote with the Atlas Pro and the Flex Pro, you know, the, the V1. And the Flex Pro is one of the best flexible urethane boards that I've ridden. One of my favorites for sure. So I'm expecting this to sort of fill that place and make it even better. So going through the electronics battery, we've got a very slight upgrade. Uh, we got a 12S2P of Samsung 50S cells in here, which are 5,000 milliamp hour cell with similar discharge rating to the 40Ts. Um, but We'll see if that gives them a lot more range or just a little bit more. I think it'll give it maybe a mile or two more. So maybe we'll see like 15 to 16 miles of range on here instead of 14. But our range test will tell uh, the tale for that one. As far as the ESC goes, still the same kind of hobby wing controller. I believe the code is actually the same, but obviously it has a lot of extra functionality on the Bluetooth side. Uh, and the comm side for all these extra functions and then uh, the ability to control the lights through the uh, remote and then you've got brake light functionality that's awesome so all kinds of cool stuff coming out of this new ESC um, again still hobby wing should still be that great smoothness that we have come to love uh, motors are the same I believe they are 160 kV hobby wing motors and uh, they're the 4240s. Yeah, same uh, motors. So good stuff there. Haven't had any problems with the ones on my Flex Pro. Same awesome uh, RKP Trist trucks, 45 degrees. I think the same wheels, honestly. I haven't checked that, but that's kind of a minor thing. Uh, we've got 15 millimeter by 255 belts pretty standard and then 
uh, if it wasn't obvious immediately, this is a brand new deck. So the whole shape is different. Um, I believe that the concave is slightly different. If it is, it's gonna be super minor, but looks nice. I've stood on it a couple times, it feels pretty nice. And you've also got foam grip tape on here, which is a small upgrade, but you can also see this awesome light strip all the way around the outside. Definitely one of the major selling points for this guy. We've got front and back bumpers, the same awesome bushings, belt guards, pretty much covers everything. Lots of marginal upgrades, but things that will make a difference in your everyday life. And then finally, the charger has been uh, side graded slash downgraded. So if you had an X-Way board with the GAN 210 watt charger, you might have had some issues with sort of uh, fast failure rates or frequent failure rates. This thing is a little less power, does not get nearly as hot. Um, if you guys recall in my Atlas Pro and I think in the Flex Pro reviews, I pointed out how dangerously hot the 210 watt charger gets. I believe it was all the way in like the ADC range, something like that. Uh, this is much cooler. I did charge this up before. This charger is easily hand holdable, no problem at all. Um, however, it is about 167 watts instead of 210, but it'll still charge pretty fast. It's a 3.2 amp charger, um, and it's a little bit smaller. So it's actually better to fit in your backpack, but that's kind of minor. And then last thing, while we're here in the studio, you get a little tool bag with your uh, Torx for the belt covers and then the charging cable, a couple extra screws and an Allen key for taking off the enclosure if you want. You get a little user manual. This is actually very important. There's uh, instructions on how to use the remote in here. There's a lot of functions on the remote, so make sure you give those a good read. Uh, otherwise, you'll be missing out on some awesome features that they've added now that they have a nice screen to uh, sort of view them on and set them on. This app, or this uh, board is also supposed to be integrated with the X Skate app. However, it's completely broken right now on Android. I can't even open the app. So hopefully they update that soon. But yeah, lots of incremental upgrades, lots of cool things. Um, really excited to ride this at night with this color strip on the sides. Of course, it doesn't really have headlights, but this will still light up the path a little bit, and at least I'll be nicely seen. Again, I think I can show you the turn signals a little better here. So you tilt the remote to the direction you want to turn. So say I want to turn left and then double press the trigger button. There you go. Turn signal on the back and on the front. And then if we want to turn right, you can kind of see it a little bit turn it on back there but yeah i'm super stoked to ride this so let's just go ahead and take it out for a spin what's up friends today we're here on a brand new board from x-way and this board is basically a flex pro with lights so that's pretty sweet here we have the Flex 2 Pro, a brand new, well, it's kind of new at this point, released from X-Way. And this board sports a bunch of small usability upgrades, um, and then gets the lighting, it gets the brand new Rexus remote, which honestly, this remote alone is almost worth the upgrade in my opinion, because it's, it's an awesome remote. I haven't ridden too much with it so far, but it feels really nice in the hand and just the throttle wheel alone is an incredible upgrade over the much cheaper uh, standard X-Way R1 remote, or R3 remote rather. Now, we're gonna talk about a couple things on this ride. See if I can tell any differences between the old Flex Pro and this one because the Flex Pro is no longer in production. They've only got the Flex 2 Pro. So, your two options from X-Way for a board like this are the Paragon or this Flex 2 Pro. So, we've got pretty much all the same features that you would expect to find on the Flex Pro series. 
and uh, we've got the same ish ESC. I wasn't able to get a super clear answer on this, but apparently it has the same hobby wing number code. However, it's obviously modified to um, support the lights like I was talking about before, but it feels pretty much the same out of the box, except for the fact that since we have a different remote, uh, we have a different amount of throttle throw, and the throttle throw on this uh, feels a lot wider. So it does change how the board rides, but I think it's in a mostly positive way, giving you more control over how much throttle you're putting into the board. And the feeling of the metal knurled uh, scroll wheel on your thumb is a lot more like grippy and more uh, granular than it was with the skinny plastic one. It just feels a lot better. So you're able to put down the power, which I already thought that the, uh, goodness, I already thought that the Flex Pro put down a ton of power for a urethane board of this sort of board class, which is like a flexible urethane street board. And this just takes that power, the same power, and puts it, puts it down a little easier. What the heck was that? No way we got a rock in there already. Weird. It's gone. Anyway, <laughs> we've got the same power, different battery. So I'll be very interested to see how the range test does for this board. I'm expecting a little bit more range, but not too much more uh, with the Samsung 50S cells. That's the upgrade from the uh, old Samsung 40T cells. And honestly, I think it's a good move because in my experience so far, the 40T and the P42A actually perform fairly similar uh, when it comes to a board of this sort of power caliber. The uh, Meepo uh, Envy ended up getting almost the same exact range as the Flex Pro, uh, the original Flex Pro, and the only real difference there, because they have very similar hobby wing ESCs, is that the uh, Flex Pro is 40T and the uh, Meepo one is P42A. So really kind of washes out to the same performance in terms of range. So it'll be interesting to see how much more we get with this uh, new 50S battery. I do think the 50S is a very capable cell, so I'm glad to see that they went with that instead of a, uh, a BAK or something like that or a Sung Chong. Uh, but Samsung is a pretty reliable company and I expect that most of the performance of the 50S boards will be pretty consistent, so that's good. You'll notice that I'm riding out here uh, at sunset to show off the lights. I think there's so many awesome features with these lights. They've got a bunch of different light modes. I'm honestly just a sucker for RGB stuff. So uh, seeing this come out from X-Way is pretty cool. Now, ironically, X-Way was actually the first one to put these strip lights on a board and then uh, Backfire did it and now Meepo even has it. But this version, what they're calling Bifrost 2.0, is really sweet. And I don't know if you can see it in this video, but you could definitely see it in some of the B-roll from earlier. The uh, RGB actually like shines through the bottom of the deck a little bit. And I think that looks super cool. You really probably can't see it on here, but it's a really cool look. And uh, one other cool feature is the turn signals, which I can show off here. It's probably easier to see without the big RGB on, but let's see if I can activate this while I'm riding. Tilt to the left to turn left. I just shift my fingers a little bit. Tilt to left, turn left, double click, left turn signal. Tilt to the right to turn right, double click. You got a right turn signal and the remote does vibrate to let you know that you've selected a, an operation like that, which is pretty cool. Oh boy, we need to turn the brakes up. 
When I was going through the settings for this, uh, I noticed that the brakes default is at three out of nine. So we're gonna go ahead and change those real quick. Press and hold the, uh, oops, press and hold the light button. Oh, you can't change settings while you're riding. Huh. Press and hold the light button. Go into board. Turn on turbo mode because we like that. Uh, let's see, brake force three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now, this really shouldn't be anything surprising if you've ridden a Flex Pro before. But it's got nice. Oh wow. I I changed the theme for some somehow to purple. It looks pretty sweet. Uh, but the brakes on here are the same as the Flex Pro. It's the same wheels, same belt, same ratio. It's really just like an incremental upgrade cool incremental upgrade, but still, you sort of get my, get my drift there. Now, I said that the deck was different. I'm not actually sure. Uh, I will confirm with X-Way and put on the screen if the deck is actually different. Uh, the shape is exactly the same. I thought it looked different because of the colors of the grip tape and stuff, and I think that this one is slightly less flexible than the... Uh, first or than the original flex pro which is probably good for some weights of people but for me the original flex pro was an awesome amount of flex it was like the perfect split between uh flexible and uh stiff this one well time will tell but it i think it's a tiny bit more stiff and that might honestly just be because they had to put uh, urethane or plastic around the outside to hold the uh, the lights and to show the colors in such a fantastic way but in any case deck still feels good I like that they have the wide uh, standing platform or it's not super wide but it has a little bit of a wing to it so you get a little bit more grip for your feet a little bit more space to stand on and uh, man, this thing just looks cool. Let's stop and take a picture real quick. Oh wow, we actually get belt skip with the brakes now. That's interesting. <laughs> I'll have to double check the tightness there. But this thing is cool. And that brake light feature, pretty sweet as well. I shot those turn signals again. Pretty cool. Really smooth animations. I'm really happy with how well they did there. It's a super high quality RGB strip, high quality RGB controller, and uh, great job X-Way. I'm not gonna go over all the power modes in this video because I think they're pretty much the same as the uh, Flex Pro, except this one has a little bit higher top speed. I did actually just ride the Flex Pro right before this um, to get a feel for it, and it feels pretty much the same response-wise, but this one is supposed to be able to go 31. The Flex Pro did achieve its top speed of 28, so I have no reason to believe that this wouldn't go 31. We will test it eventually, but probably not while I'm wearing shorts. But in any case, speed feels good, bushings feel good. I honestly, I'm just gonna reiterate, I really love uh, X-Way's stock bushings. I think this stock bushing and RKP combo is one of my favorite stock ones out there and uh, you honestly don't even really need to change the riptides unless you really are not the right weight for the bushings but at my weight they perform really well at high speed or close to top speed and still turn pretty well at lower speed so no complaints there same great trucks same great bushings really I don't think I have anything negative to say about this so far um, if that belt skip thing is actually a problem, that will definitely be a negative. Uh, if that didn't come properly adjusted, it's not a big deal. But if I adjust it and then it uh, still skips, well, that's not going to be as cool. But let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, we're getting a tiny bit of belt skip. Not too bad, though. Good brakes on setting 9, for sure. Much better than on 3. 3 was pretty... Uh, Pretty sad. 
There are tons of features on this Rexus remote. Again, really love this thing so far. Um, there's a lot of features that are built in that are not fully implemented yet. And one thing that I have to complain about because uh, it's really annoying, the Android X Skate app, which is the one that you connect to the Flex Pro series uh, and the Atlas Pro series of boards, it doesn't work on Android, period. Like you can't even open it without it crashing. So uh, my X-Way rep told me that they're working on it and it'll be released soon. Uh, presumably a fixed version but it's not here yet so I did have to go into the remote settings and change this off of safe mode instead of doing it in the uh, app I believe I don't know if you're able to change it off of safe mode without riding the six miles or ten kilometers in the remote I did leave it on a table with it on cruise control mode which works fine by the way um, and rode out the six miles and uh, I was able to change it off the of safe mode and get it into the proper gear four and turbo like we're riding in right now so definitely look out for an app update if you're on Android don't really know uh, if it's a problem on Apple or not because I don't own an iPhone but hopefully they get that fixed up now I'm just gonna keep riding and uh, I'll give you guys some thoughts at the end. But for now, I'm gonna put a ton of miles on this and uh, start working on my full review. Thanks so much for watching. Alrighty guys, final thoughts on the Flex 2 Pro. One, I love this remote. This thing is awesome. Two, the lights look super sweet. Power is great. It's basically just a better Flex Pro. So if you like the Flex Pro, you'll like this thing. But um, gonna put some more miles on it, gonna do all my performance testing like normal, of course. Um, we've done 7.8 miles and we're at 3 out of 5 bars on the board. So, I already knew that this was probably gonna be close to the other one, and that was one lap plus a mile of the loop. So, I think it'll still be around that 15 to 17 miles, maybe. We'll see, we'll see going to do the testing and find out for you guys. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first look and first ride video and uh, felt that it was useful. If you did, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to see the full review on this. I've also got a lot more board reviews coming out soon. Um, I've put in a lot of work recently to get all the data and make sure I've got all this charts for you guys. So I'm super excited to show you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep on riding, and peace out.